everyone, my name is Danielle and welcome to my YouTube channel and also welcome inside House to Home at Last because this is the very first home tour that I have ever done. It's been a bit of a long awaited one and so many of you have asked about this. So I thought why don't I finally start off my YouTube channel and kick it off with a home tour. Now this one isn't going to show you where everything in the home is from because if I did that plus the renovations plus the tour we would be here all day. So that is going to be in a separate video. Now this one is going to take you on a tour all around so you can get a better idea of the layout, which rooms flow into which rooms and also you can see the changes that we've made because when we bought this house it was really old, really dated and we have managed to transform it into our gorgeous family home which we really love. Now, if you have followed me over on Instagram, where I have been for the past two years, then, and you've come on over, then thank you so much. And if you're new here, then welcome. But please make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Now, I am gonna take you over back to the front door and I am gonna start the home tour. So as you come in through the front door, you come into the hallway. Now it's quite a small hallway, but it does the job. So over here, this looks is where we keep our shoes. And then this is obviously the stairs up there. Now I'll show you a view from the stairs looking down because you'll probably get a better idea of what we've changed here. I'll take you up here and turn you around. So if we go up the stairs and look this way. So this hallway used to have a, a doorway just here and it was really old wood, um, really dark colours, the flooring needed changing, everything needed changing really. So this is what it looked like before. So as you can see we need we blocked up that doorway which is which was through to the living room, changed the carpet, had the walls all re-skimmed, painted the woodwork, just really brightened it up and replaced the front door. So I'll take you down now and into the next room. So from the hallway, you come straight into the kitchen. Now this is like our main hub of the home and this room has had probably the biggest change, I think. So here we just have a, just a little, I say seating area, people only really sit on it if they need to do something, but it just kind of fills the space and then over here we've got this sideboard unit. So this is the main kitchen area here though. Now when we first moved in there was a massive great big pillar right down the middle of the kitchen and the kitchen was really dark, really old, really dated so the whole thing needed changing but that great big pillar in the middle had to go so that's what this looked like. So as you can see, the kitchen's really dark and that pillar in the middle just really wasn't practical. I always wanted to have an island in the middle of the kitchen, so the only way that was going to happen was if that pillar went. So what we had to do up here, you can see we've had to have some steel lintels put in across the ceiling um, and that was the only way we could do it to take the pillar out of the middle. And then once that came out, it made such a difference. So it meant that we could have this island in the middle and then we could have all new units put in around here. So we've got the fridge here. This is like the little tea and coffee making area. We have a TV up here, but in all honesty, we hardly ever put it on now. We did in the beginning, but now we hardly ever use it. And over here, this is my new clock. I love this. And I've just recently changed the wall to a dark wall and I really do love it. And over here we have the sink. Another shot of the island. This is all my pots and pans, cupboards, and then the range cooker. It was Pete who really wanted this range cooker and it is really high maintenance and quite hard to keep clean, but it does look really lovely. Now these floor tiles, um, a lot of people ask me about these and yes, they are extremely high maintenance and I would never ever get them again, but when they are clean, they do look really good. So I'll show you some other shots of this area of the kitchen before. So you can see how much it's changed um, from 
which is what it is now. And then also I really like the shop facing this way. I'll show you from this angle of the kitchen and that's what this area of the kitchen looked like before. Now this corner over here, this has also changed quite a bit. I've got a, a nice before shot of this area, which I'll show you now. As you can see, that has changed loads as well. When we first moved in, we had to put the fridge where the unit is now because it didn't fit in the kitchen. So luckily we were, when we redid the kitchen, we were able to integrate it in and build it into the kitchen. So from the kitchen off to here, this doorway has always been here and it led straight into a little downstairs toilet, but we have recently just changed it and knocked through into the garage to make the snug. So as you come through here, this used to be a wall straight across here and that was the garage behind it. So we've knocked through and changed the garage into the snug. Now this room originally was just going to be, that's why we called it the snug, it was just kind of a cosy room, chill room, you've got the telly there if you want it, kind of what forever you want. But once, well since lockdown, luckily we have done this because it's now been turned into an office for Pete and it's a good job really because he spent all his time in here. So that is the back wall and we've left a small part of the garage behind that that's why we haven't put a window in because we still needed a little bit for storage but we added in a velux up here to make sure it's nice and bright we've got a lovely double radiator in here so it's really nice and warm this room is insulated so well so it actually gets really really warm in here and then we just got the telly on there and then now my husband's office desk so in here, this is where the boiler was in the garage originally. So we've just had a cupboard built in around it. And this is kind of where I store oh. my stash of hoovers. <laughs> I put so many hoovers and mops and that's where they all live. And then on the back of the door, I've just got one of these shoe holders. And this is what I use to just hang loads of bits and pieces in. So it's really handy. But that's where all of the hoovers and things live in the boiler cupboard. <laughs> in the snug. So I'll take you now into the little toilet. So this was has always been here and we've just changed it, updated it and modernised it. This is people's favourite thing to comment on is my little tiny sink. <laughs> now in all honesty when I ordered it I didn't actually measure it to see how small it would be. I just saw it on the website as a small sink and thought that would be perfect. <laughs> So it is a tad small, but it is only for washing your hands, so it does the job. But I will show you now a before picture of this downstairs toilet, so you can see the changes that we've made. It used to be so old-fashioned. Um, I did kind of try and spruce it up a little bit as best I could before we did the full renovation, but it, uh, it definitely needed doing. So taking you back through from the little toilet takes you back into the kitchen. This is just a doorway into the alleyway and, you can, and also another way that you can get into the garden. So from the kitchen, obviously back through there is the hallway and then this first door on your left takes you into the dining room. This room hasn't really had many sort of changes, it's mainly just decor, but we have changed the doors at the bottom because we did have some really old white patio doors which were letting in such an awful draft and it was so cold in here, but we've had those changed for bifolds. And then the rest is just really decor, just changing the floor in and the walls. Um, I don't think I have a before shot of this room, but as you can imagine it was just, just a room really with some white French doors. Oh, it's a bit miserable today so I can't, wouldn't take you straight out into the garden but the garden has had a big change as well. So this is where our hot tub is and then I'll open this up and take you, just show you out here a little bit. So this is the before shot of the garden 
as you can see, it looked completely different. We've had a patio built down on the bottom there, which is where we have a day bed um, and the table and chairs. We've also added in the shed, built all the, done all the borders around the side, just really tidied it up. And then on this top patio here is where we have a couple more um, outdoor seating chairs and the fire pit table. That over there is a pull-up bar, and that was our lockdown project. Well, not ours, Pete's lockdown project. But we have, this garden has taken oh, the whole time that we've, since we've lived here, to do. And I think this summer is the only summer where it's actually been finished. So, back through from the garden, back into the dining room. And then this, through here from the dining room, is the lounge. So this is the living room, and I love this room so much. This room has had quite a lot of changes, just with the layout and with decor as well. So this is the living room when we first got it. As you can see, it's really dark in colour. We have that a dark red feature wall on the left and there is a doorway um, next to the window. So back in now and where the doorway was we have blocked it up and made it into this feature TV wall. This layout works so much better for us being able to sit here and watch the telly. When we first moved in that doorway it let in an awful draft and it was really really cold in here so we kept it shut all the time and we just got that used to it that we thought if we blocked it up we really wouldn't miss it and to be honest we don't miss it at all and this just works so much better for us. So this is where all of us really sit. Over here we have our beanbag chair which does get used a lot. We normally sort of drag it over here to watch telly with and then we've got this chair here which to be honest only ever gets used when someone comes over. None of us ever sit in that but it filled the corner. <laughs> so I'll show you a before shot of this area. As you can see, that's where we had the TV unit and that's where the TV used to be when the couch was sort of in this corner over here. So this room has had massive changes. Just new decor, nice new bright carpet and I love it so much. So when people want to take photos, I always stand in this doorway looking in and people always ask, where, how do you get there? Um, and so that is through from the dining room and that's the kitchen back through there. Back through from the dining room, we'll go back into the kitchen. One last little look at the kitchen. I'll take you now upstairs. Now before I do, I forgot this cupboard here. This is just a cupboard under the stairs. This is literally where we keep coats and just everything really. I've got drawers full of stuff. And again, I've got another one of these door. Well, it's a shoe, a shoe holder, but I just fill them with all bits and bobs, cleaning things. And that is literally what all that cupboard is. That's where, that's where we stash all our coats. So I'll take you back into the hallway and then we'll go upstairs. So at the top of the stairs, we just have this the unit and the stairs go off to the right and then this is the top of the stairs. So here we have Evie's room, off to the left we have the bathroom, next is our room and then across here is Isaac's room. Showing you the hallway from the top now just so you can get another idea. So that's the stairs down there. And up here again used to be so dark and dingy. This is the before shot of this area. It's changed so much. So I'll start with this room here and then I'll just work my way around. So from the left at the top of the stairs is the bathroom. Now this bathroom used to be a separate toilet and uh, bathroom. So this wall here used to be a doorway into a single toilet. Now when we decided to renovate we decided to knock through and just make the bathroom into one big room. Here is the bathroom now. So it's by no means a massive bathroom. 
we've, but we've managed to fit in a bath, a toilet, a sink, and then around here we also have a lovely big shower. So this shower is what used to be the single toilet. So we knocked through and decided to make that into the shower. Now across here, so this is how the old bathroom used to look. So the original bath used to go across this wall here. So we've switched it round, put the bath under the window, added the toilet in here, and then just added in a really little sink here. And that meant that we could have everything that we needed. So like I say, it's not a massive bathroom, but we've really made it work with the space that we've got. And I do really love the bathroom. It's so nice to be able to have a shower as well as a bath because originally we thought we'd have to have a shower over the bath but it's really um it's really worked out well i always say this is probably the thing that we may outgrow as the kids get older so as you can see the sink and radiator and door literally all just fits in and another tiny sink but this one is a bit bigger <laughs> so i just have a unit here this is where i keep all bits and bobs and yep, that is the bathroom. Like I say, not a lot to show you here, but there are, it has been a massive change. Um, and I do really, really love how the bathroom turned out. So if we turn around from the bathroom, the first room out of here to your left is Evie's room. So this is the most colourful room in the house and such a gorgeous girly room. I love this room so much and I think when I was like picking the things for the room I was just thinking of all the things that I would have loved to have as a little girl. This room hasn't had any major changes, it's all just kind of decor. This was how the room looked before. So it was just kind of old carpet, old walls. It needed some new wardrobes which we've changed here even though these do actually need replacing now because the doors have broke, but never mind. Um, and so we've added in, we gave um, Evie a double bed originally because we don't have a guest room. So if anybody wanted to come over and stay, it meant that she could go and sleep with her brother and they could use this double bed. So that's why we went with that. But obviously it's gonna, it's gonna grow with her as she gets older. So it was practical. We also, it's a TV bed because we're quite limited on space in here and she wanted to have a desk behind here and didn't want to have to have the TV on there. We got a TV bed, so the TV is hidden away in here and just comes up when she needs it. So behind the door, that's where she has a desk. It's like a desk come dressing table. And that's there. And then just the bed and wardrobes. So if we come out of Evie's room, back into the hallway. This is just a unit I have, he have here, which I store toilet rolls and towels in. That's literally all that's there. And then the next room is our room. This room has been our latest renovation and I couldn't be any more thrilled with how this room has turned out. So originally in this room, this back wall here was where the bed used to be. So that fit a king size bed and two bedside tables and that was it. Literally it just squashed in between the wall here and here. And we decided that we would really like a king size bed. So along this back wall used to be completely fitted wardrobes, which I'll show you here. So we decided to rip all of those out so that we could switch the room around and have a king size bed on this wall and then have the wardrobes on the opposite wall. So it works really well and I'm really pleased. So over here we have the TV which is on a pull out bracket so it does actually pull out and around for when we're in bed wanting to watch telly. And then over here is my dressing table. So Again, it's not a massive room, but we've managed to fit everything in and it all just works so well. So as we come out of our room, 
Then if we go off to the left again, this is Isaac's room. This is the tiny box room, but I feel like I've made the best use of the space that I can. So this is how this room used to look originally. Now, once he was old enough, I knew that a cabin bed would be the perfect kind of bed for this room because it's got loads of storage underneath, which frees up loads of floor space. So under his bed, we've got a chest of drawers. We've got this lovely desk, which pulls out. There's also, but if you go under the chair, you can also get around and there's sort of a small space behind, which he kind of uses as a bit of a den. And then there's also a shelf here, which is a bookshelf. So that is full of his books and everything like that. So having that there just completely freed up the rest of the floor space. So people always ask about clothes. Clothes, uh, most stuff is in here, but what we do have behind the door here is a cupboard which was built in. So I painted this in chalkboard paint and made this sort of his um, chalkboard, which really works well. And then in here, this is where we store all of his games and there is a little rail in there for things that need to be hung up. So that's a nice little bit of extra storage behind the door. Now up here we have his telly which is all wired through in, in through the cupboard so it's nice and tidy on the wall. At the moment we've kind of got a little bit of a Harry Potter theme going on with his prints and things up here. but. Because we went for the monochrome theme, it means you can just sort of switch up and change everything, you know, to anything he wants. He's got a, he's got a mix of everything at the minute, really. He's got the sloth bed in and it all just works really well. So although it's the smallest room, it's definitely one of my favourites. As we come out of Isaac's room, we're just back into the hallway and then that is the end of the home tour. Thank you again so much for watching the home tour i really do hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up i hope it's given you a better idea of the layout of the house and which rooms flow into which rooms i know i'm really nosy like that and i like to know a little bit more about inside of people's houses so hopefully this video has done that also please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos i've got lots of exciting stuff coming up with autumn and halloween and christmas which is my favorite time of the year you can also pop over and follow me on instagram where i post lots of things every day they could be cleaning tidying up speed cleans renovations or just general day-to-day -day life but there's always something posted over there as well and as always thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching